VB scripting functions and subroutines. So functions. What is function? Function generally anything that I want to reuse, I can use it as a function. For example, I this function does multiply. That is the job of this function. This multiplication happens with a comma b as a parameter. Enter and it returns the value c. After multiplication, input is a and b. c is my output parameter. c equals a into b. This is my function job. Right? So whenever I want to multiply, I like to call this function with the parameter. This is what function is all about. Now, the syntax for the function is function space name of the function followed by the number of parameters separated by a comma. Use that parameters inside the function. All the parameters that you are declaring a, b, c, these are all within the function it is local within the function. It is not a global parameter. Right? Now I come out of the function. I like to call this function multiply space. I like to call with now a as 10, b as 10. Right? And I want to assign the return value C to the parameter called D. This is how a function is called. I am ca created a function. That function does a multiplication. Multiplication need minimum of two input parameters that is A and B. And the product of the multiplication I need to pass it as a parameter as C. And that function is called below multiply a comma sorry 10 comma 10 t. I can pass it like this or I can assign a equal to 10, b equal to 10, and then call the sorry instead of a I call it as uh, d e and f, and I can assign the value here e. I am forcefully forcing the change to this variables so that we are clear what is local, what is public and what happens while calling etc. I am creating a breakpoint so that we understand better. I now run the script. As I run the script, you see now how script functions. I run the script. Running the script in a debug mode so automatically I will get the debug viewer. I will go with assigned on valid. I say fine. So now I go to debug viewer. Under this debug viewer I will open the variables. Under this variables I open the debug viewer window. I moved on to the variables. I now select F11 that is moving inside into F11. Now you can see E is assigned with value 10. F is assigned with value 10. I am now calling the function. So E value 10, F value 10. That value is now moved back. <coughs> you can see now. A, B, C is appearing in variables no longer E and F because E and F is not available for inside the function. Inside the function I have A, B, C multiply itself is a function. Function can return a value. Multiply itself is acting as a variable that you can notice it in the debug viewer. Now C is now going to get assigned as I select F11 
Now C is assigned with value 100 and that C is returned back to the called function F11 it has returned back unfortunately I need to use here message box D so that we know how it has moved I run the script again this portion or concept is very important under reusable action parameter I have created C F11 E is done F is done multiply that is the calling function when I call the function it executes the function it now you can see within the function only variables a b c is available e and f are not available inside the function because it is local to the script not to the function f11 it is done now f11 as a product c equal to 100 and that c 100 is now returned back to the main calling function that is d is assigned with the value 100 done f11 now finish script is over now here we never set qtp e has to take or the value of the e has to go to a value of f has to go to b value of d coming from c we never said in qtp or in vb how it manages that now I can use it like this now I am explaining there are two concepts in function one is called by ref another is called by val now instead of C I now return the value a here a equal to a into b I am now Return, without a D parameter I am now message boxing E we are getting into most important concept that is called by ref by val I am not declared what A is whether it is by ref or by val by default he takes one we are trying to understand what that is what is the name QTP has given to that I execute now what I did is remove the C parameter I have assigned now A itself to take the value of A and that value is returned back to E before calling the function I am again displaying the value in the message box executing the function after execution of the function returning the value of E for your understanding run it I have not declared A as whether by ref or by val execute message box E you can see that it is 10 no issues calling the function gone inside the function A is now changed in variable extractor you can see it has got changed to 100 extract message box E now you can see E is assigned with value 100. So I am changing the value. This is called by ref by default. By default A act as by ref. I am executing it again. Just watch how it works. F11 f11 e that's fine 10 it is calling the function getting into the function a is assigned inside the function a is assigned with value outside the function e is now assigned with a new value of the a this is called by ref and that is how default it works i now change instead of by ref i make it as a by val now see how script gets executed or function gets executed now I am running the function a is e is 10 c f is 10 message e 10 that is fine 
multiply it goes inside now inside the function a is assigned with 100 no issues but when the value of whether the value of the a is passed back to e or not that is what we are going to see I am going to click F11 F11 as I go you can now see the value of E is not changed because it is now A is acting as an input parameter it is no longer an output parameter the value of the A cannot be changed outside that function so the E returns with 10 itself I am repeating this again I am executing it again when I execute when I use by val by val means it will act as an input parameter the value it can take inside the value of the E initially assigned has gone inside not an issue that is A is assigned with the value E after A is modified inside the function the value since it is a by val a will not pass back the value a is now not passing back the value to the e this is what function is all about now if i use inside this multiply multiply equals a make sure the spelling is right on the function name the function name itself I am using it as a variable I am assigning a to that a plus 10 say I run the script see what happens I will come here here I will now var1 equals multiply since it returns a value I need to assign it within parenthesis since it is returning the value I need to assign within the parenthesis var1 then message box var1 now you see how system works f11 I am executing the script e is assigned f is assigned 10 that is fine ok now a is taking the value of 10 I am calling the function now going inside the function a is now taking the value of 100 and that value is assigned back to the multiply multiply is now 110 I am ending the function now now you can see var1 is now is not returning the value multiply a equal a plus 10 I say 10 I say var1 it is not returning the value the reason is I declared a as a by val now I make it as b I'll make it as b plus 10 now run the script I think both has a different spelling M M U L. Ah, there is a spelling mistake. Sorry, made a mistake because it's a different variable. P L Y. P L Y. Now it returns. Now I run the script. A. Nothing is changed. All same. Here I'll say A plus ten. Run this. I execute the script F11 F11 message box E is ok F11 multiply is empty run the script A is 100 again now you can see multiply is returned with 110 and that 110 is assigned to var1 so this is about functions in the functions with by val by ref function returning the parameter function itself is acting as a parameter so these three we have seen it as a 
functions under VB scripting. There is one more called subroutine. Subroutine doesn't return a value. Functions return a value. Subroutine doesn't return value. So subroutine the same command sub sub of sub name I declare a name say ABC parameter A comma B inside A or A equal to A plus B next I now go to calling the subroutine A B C A comma B message box A instead of A I'll say 10 instead of 10 again I'll go to G equal to 10 H equal to 10 I'll call it as G comma H I now message box G let us see I want to execute the subroutine alone I execute from this step right click run from step execute it it is assigning the value now H ABC since I have not used any breakpoint it continuously run now G is you can see that it is 20 so in subroutine I can do in this way but I cannot do it as a ABC. ABC is not a declared variable now inside the function. So you have you seen when I used a breakpoint, I will also use a breakpoint here. Inside this, inside this, I will apply a breakpoint, execute it, run from step. So ABC is now no longer a variable you can see now inside the function. When it goes inside, you can see A and B, not A, B, C. All the parameter A comma B, it is all works in the same way as it is defined in the function. But here that A, B, C as a parameter, it doesn't exist. So I cannot call in this way. What I am trying to say is, I cannot call a subroutine in the way I did it in the previous example. Where one equals subroutine ABC of like this I cannot call it is an invalid because ABC is no longer a variable whereas in functions it can act as a return value here functions returns a value whereas subroutines doesn't return a value please don't confuse with a parameter which we use as a input and an output parameter that works still but as a function name, it returns a value, whereas subroutine doesn't return a value. That is the difference between the subroutine and the functions.